which is an easy challenge from websec.fr so let's get started so the first thing we want to do is click on url and see where it takes us so for the most part it takes us right here where it says level 24 cloud-based plain text storage please enjoy our super convenient cloud-based text storage facility it's synced up and and the um it syncs up and connects with Agile a API worldwide on global scale to achieve synergy with outside the box diving di DevOps. So if we click right here right away, we see that we're giving PHP code. And the thing that we have to look out for, or the thing that's most vulnerable in this code is uh, file get content and file uh, put content. So why is this like, a bad thing like why is this vulnerable so right here we have this powerful uh, powerful resources of PHP streamer of stream wrappers so in this case in PHP you, you can use generic functions to perform various streaming operates without the hassle of using individual functions making the entire process easier so PHP has some generic functions that, that you can interact with which are file get and put content so that gives us an idea what we're gonna use so when we want to bypass certain things, we call wrap our stuff in our case with a wrapper and then we set the target and there's many wrappers when it comes to, I guess, uh, PHP, but the one that we're going to be using is, uh, a base 64 wrapper. And like, I guess we're going to ask yourself why use this base 64 wrapper. So with this base 64 wrapper, it's looking out for is looking for any code that could get executed in our case this thing right here is looking for i guess the how php starts right away with the php code like an example of php code is uh uh example php code uh if you look at example php code you say right here at the beginning oh, no, i think this one you see right here it has a uh, a less than sign and a question mark that's what this thing is looking out for a less than sign and a question mark for anything related to php so how do we bypass this and like i was saying we're going to use something called file or file wrappers so if you go right here if i have i term in if i just cap my payload uh 24.py we see we have we import request library so we can send web requests and basically for us we could uh encode and decode base 64 content so what do we have here we have our location our url then we have file name but this is a function right here so let's get started with the real thing so we have our first payload which is php filter convert base 64 decode so th what this is going to do is decode any base 64 and the resources that we're going to go with is the 123.php so 123.php what is what is this going to do so with our payload 2, what we're going to do here is basically encode our PHP code into base64. And then we pass payload 1 and payload 2 inside here. So now we have our the URL. And now we have file name. Our file name is going to be the payload, which is going to be this entire thing right here. And the 123.php. So what's going to happen, because this is reading it by file... Uh, by file uh by file put and get content we could use the we could use php wrappers that's the only reason that um well we could we could uh use uh php filter convert all of this that's the only reason we can because of file get and file put content so and because if not we only had to put one two three dot php but in that case since we are using file get or put content we could use php wrappers so with php wrappers we're gonna wrap this and have it decode and the file name is 123.php and then what do we have here our payload so the data is our data is going to contain our payload and our payload is basically our our php code that is encoded at base 64. and then we send a post request and what's going to happen is that it's going to read the 123.php file, but it's going to want to decode it. And our payload is encoded. So 
our payload is gonna be a B64, which is gonna bypass the filter, and then later on it's gonna decode, decode it, and then after that it's gonna run this code right here. And the code that it's gonna run is to get the content of flag, which is most likely located at, at root. So if I run this for the most part, and then right here, we know where our uh, file is located because if you go go back to uh, Firefox, we can see that it tells us where our file is located. Our file is located in this location. So now if I run my code, Python 3, 24.py, we see that we get the flag. And now if I just copy this and paste it, we should we should uh, solve this challenge and we did good luck for 24 but yeah that was about it for this challenge it was mostly it's a pretty cool challenge i enjoyed it a lot pretty cool for the most part uh pretty fun and hopefully you guys enjoyed it too i guess and then i guess the whole point of it was just understanding how powerful uh php wrappers are but anyway that's about it for me thank you